happy guinea pig! Hi, I'm Arlene. Welcome to my kitchen. And tonight I am making me, well, making us, a throw together casserole. Y'all, I like casseroles. They're good. No problem with them. This is going to be a Polish kielbasa casserole. This is a kielbasa, Polish kielbasa sausage. Or Polska, excuse me, P-O-L-S-K-A. Polska. Polska kielbasa is what it said on the package. Kielbasa. And I only used half of it and cut it up thin slice. Here I have about two to two and a half cups of uh, egg noodles. Y'all, them's egg noodles. I'm trying to think here. Uh, so about two, two and a half cups. I just used what I had in my package. She was going to do rice. I was going to do rice, and I don't have enough rice. I said, yeah, well, I'll just make new egg noodles. No big. I've got probably about a good cup's worth of uh, chopped frozen broccoli. And about three-fourths cup of uh, onion and peppers cut up. They're frozen. Here I have probably a good cup of shredded uh, Colby cheese. I've got two cups of water. I've got some beef bouillon that I'm going to use in the water for flavoring there. Got some Worcestershire sauce. And I've got some piggies to rub. We put piggies in the rub almost everything, y'all. This Piggy. is going to be one of them one pot meals, y'all. I'm not messing up no more than I got to mess up. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour my Polish sausage in here. I'm going to pour my onions and peppers in here. I'm going to pour my frozen broccoli in here. I have my oven preheated uh, 375 degrees. And then I'm going to pour my egg noodles in here, y'all. And I've got a spoon here. Well, put, Piggy, give me that spoon. I'm going to use this for something else. Big spoon like that? Yeah. And while I'm getting that for me, I'm going to go ahead and work on this right here. There we go. Well, I'll there you that. go. I want to get this mixed together before I pour the liquid over it. So what I'm doing is just I'm just going to put all this in here together. Like I said, stir it all up. Make sure everything is just kind of you know spread out through there. You have sausages everywhere. You have some of the onion everywhere. Some of the broccoli everywhere. Kind of like slicing up a banana to put in your rice crispy. She sliced it up just right where you get some everywhere. Yeah. That way every bite you can get some banana and rice crispy. Or banana and pork flakes. Or that. Bananas and frosted flakes. Man, that's good too. Or strawberries or blueberries. Yeah, any kind of fruit you want to put in your, in your cereal. But yeah, kind of the same concept. Yeah, kind of the same concept. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put, this calls for one, I thought it was one teaspoon, it's one tablespoon of bouillon for a cup of water. So I'm just going to put a couple of those things. And then I'm going to put some Worcestershire sauce in here. And I know, I'll never pronounce it right, it's Wor Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Put about a tablespoon of that in there. Y'all, that stuff, it smells so good. I love the smell of it. And then I'm going to put, yeah, about that much piggy syrup. I don't know how much, you know, maybe a teaspoon and a half. That's one of those things you can experiment with and see how much you like or don't like. Yeah. I, I rarely ever measure it. I just kind of sprinkle it for it or whatever. Maybe. Mainly because I know what's in it and I know that it's not going to. Give it a bad flavor. All right, I got everything mixed together here, and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pour this over the noodle mixture. I'm not gonna use all that. That's oh. enough right there. Dump the rest. I'll probably wind up dumping. Yeah, dumping the rest. Here, here, I gotta wash it in here. And then we're gonna take this and sprinkle it on top. And that's my oven went off on me, yeah. Uh oh. I gotta end that, start it back up. Uh oh. I let it go too long. That's what I did. I, I at least it's heated up, y'all. That's the main thing. 
We got some cheese sprinkled here on top of this. And I'm gonna let this cook for probably about 35 minutes or so. Until the noodles are done, the liquid is kind of absorbed. It may be a more of a liquid uh, casserole than a creamy casserole. But that's the thing about that. But it, it's gonna be good either way. Put this up there. Put that in the oven. And it's set for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna let it cook for 30 minutes. If it needs more time, I'll put it back in for a few more minutes. And if it don't, we'll take it out and we'll get ready to eat, y'all. So, uh, see you in a little bit. All right, y'all, we're back. And it took about 25 to 26 minutes instead of the 30. Because when I checked it, it was, I could tell it was done. Now, like I said, this is going to be kind of a liquidy uh, casserole. I don't care. It'll eat the same as far as I'm concerned. It will eat the same, and it's still going to have the flavors of the casserole. That's all that matters. I won't need that much. I just make sure there's a little bit of everything on there. I got forks. See, y'all, I got piggy sport, and he didn't even know it. Where my fork? Over here. And yeah, there, there's liquid in there, but that's okay, y'all. You don't have to put as much liquid, or you can pre-cook the uh, noodles. You don't have to put them in there dry if you want to uh, leave them in for as much liquid. Just uh, cook your noodles ahead of time, according to the package. Leave them, uh, only cook them about halfway, though. Don't cook them all the way. And that way, uh, they'll be fin able to finish cooking in the oven. It's not showing me the camera, but we're going to see... He's having to look and see what he can find. Well, I don't know if it's actually taking a picture or not. Ah. I did it twice. Yeah, instead of the little camera icon, it's got a little white dot surrounded by a gray circle. Yeah, my phone updated and it changed a lot of things on there. I wish they'd leave stuff alone. Yeah. But so, anyway, so now we're ready to try this thing. We'll see if it tastes any good. And I gotta do one for Danny Stone. Happy get a pig! Yeah. All right, yeah. Come on. Been a while, Danny Stone. Figured I'd throw one in for you. Yeah. Well, I forgot to kill Bossa, y'all. Forgot to kill Bossa. I said I forgot to kill Bossa on my fork. It nothing else would go on the fork. Oh, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I got a little bit of everything, I think. Yeah, that worked. That's got a good flavor. If you like kielbasa or Polish sausage and peppers, you I think you'll like this casserole. Like I said, if you don't... That would make it good. Some jalapenos and banana peppers. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't like the idea of the broth in it, you can always use cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup, cream of celery soup, cream of broccoli soup, any kind of cream of soup if you would like to use that instead. Just make sure you cook the noodles part way, uh, part way and then put it in there and mix it all together. This can be made anyway. But this is just my take on Thursday night supper. Y'all, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. We're fireball.